Hey everyone, it's Andy. Uh, it's been about a month since you've heard from me on Substack. Uh, there's good reason for that, which I'm going to share today. So for the last four to five months, I've been building a new mental health publishing platform. I decided to do that because as much as I enjoy publishing on Substack, which I'm going to continue to do, I realized that I wanted to produce mental health content in so many different forms, in ways that are more visual, um, in ways that are more artistic, uh, and, and just in a variety of ways that led me to the conclusion that I need to create my own sort of publishing platform that, that frees me up to create uh, the tools and information in the way that I envision it in my head. So that's what I've been working on. Now, the, the product is called clues.life. That's the actual domain, clues, C-L-U-E-S dot L-I-F-E, clues.life. And I called it clues.life because one, it's a cool name. I thought so. Uh, two, it was available for $32 on Google domains. Also nice. <laughs> and then three is it fits in per perfectly with my ethos, which is that Life isn't about searching for the one unifying truth or answer that explains what all of this is about and why we're here. Instead, it's about flipping that question on its head and, and asking, what meaning do I want to give to life? And in order to find the meaning that one wants to give to life, you have to embark on this earnest an honest process of discovery and transformation and goal setting and understanding oneself. And to do that, you have to really invest in discovering the clues around who am I? Why am I here? And what meaning do I want to assign to life? Because there's no one way of living. There's no one guru, no one church, no one philosophy that holds all the truth. And so we have to approach life as this sort of exploratory process of almost, you know, finding a grab bag of these different clues where all of a sudden, ah, it makes sense. That's who I am. And that's what I want my life to be about. So that's why I called it clues.life. I want to help other people through the content that I publish on the website to discover the clues to the life that they envision for themselves. That's it. That's the goal. Now to do that, uh, I have to cover an incredibly wide range of knowledge and wisdom, all the way from ancient Eastern spiritual traditions up to modern Western clinical neuroscience and everything in between. Because some people find the clues to the life that they want to live through Toltec wisdom of Central and South America. Others find it through ancient Eastern spiritual traditions of Buddhism and Taoism. Others find it through the Andrew Hubermans of the world and the, the modern neuroscience that he's making available to the average person. And I, I, I simply want to facilitate that process of discovering those clues. And so I'm, I'm kind of as a founder, an entrepreneur, building the product that I want for myself, which is bring it all together in one place that connects the dots between all these different ways of living and helps me make sense of it and then be able to apply it to myself. So that's what I'm building. Now it's starting easy, starting basic. I'm publishing topics on things like different forms of trauma therapy, uh, profiles on the, the trailblazers uh, in the industry who helped carve out and develop these new uh, systems of, of understanding the human mind and the human condition. Uh, I'm creating mini courses that are self-guided. So if you want to do a deep dive on something, you can. For example, one of the first courses I'm going to create is a course on uh, mental health for entrepreneurs. Uh, and I'm also doing book reviews. So I'm identifying the books where there's, there's true wisdom or really practical uh, information and in science. I'm condensing out the meat and potatoes of those books and putting it into short form so that you can get the essence of those, those books inside of 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm going to do all those things to begin with. 
But know that the big picture is that as I build out a large enough library of knowledge, not only do I want to connect all these seemingly disparate disciplines and help make sense of it all so that somebody understands where uh, you know, sort of different mindsets or mentalities from, say, the wor world of Buddhism and how that fits into Western clinical psychotherapy. There are connections there, but there's not a lot of folks that are attempting to make those connections. And when those connections are discovered, that's an aha moment for people who are working on their own mental health and who are trying to carve out their own way in life. So I want to work on those connections. But over time, as I make the library large enough, I'm going to build in the direction of what I call conditions and situations, which is if somebody has a diagnosable condition, for example, they're dealing with anxiety or they have complex PTSD or they have a certain addiction, I want to provide the premier sort of concierge-like experience on the internet that helps that person who's newly diagnosed with a condition, who's probably feeling very scared and stigmatized. I want to help guide them through an understanding of what they're dealing with and very gracefully provide them the information and the resources that are necessary for them to, to manage it and potentially even heal from it. So those are conditions. Uh, and then I'm going to build in the direction what I call situations. Situations would be major life events like uh, I just lost a parent. I'm going through a divorce. I was let go of my job. These transitional periods that introduce an awful lot of emotional dysregulation. Similarly, I want to build end-to-end -end thorough experiences that helps guide somebody through those difficult life transitions. So I have a bigger picture in mind. Building towards conditions and situations is, is part of that. I have a lot more ideas, but it's going to take a lot of time to get there. So I'll just sort of keep it short and simple. Keep it at that for now. Just know that I'm at the beginning stages of trying to build the premier place on the internet for people trying to find their way through life. And uh, I'm going to make as much of it as I can free for as long as possible. This isn't a business venture. I don't want it to be a venture back company. I'm not raising money from investors. I'm putting money into it myself and doing the building all by myself. All the content that you see on it, I made. Um, so this is a lean approach to getting this started from the ground up. Um, but I have a really big vision for it that I know is going to take at least five or 10 years to pull off. And I'm committed to doing that. Um, that said, with it being free, because one of my principles is at the end of the day, I'm just trying to help people not make a lot of money. But with that said, I got to make some money because it needs to be sustainable. And also by generating some revenue, uh, I plan on reinvesting as much of that as possible into producing more content and content of higher quality. You notice today that the product has very little video. Well, that's coming. It also has very little audio. Well, that's coming. I also want to translate it into multiple languages. Well, hopefully that'll come. I need to make enough money first in order to build that. So anyhow, that's it. Clues.life is live. Um, you're free to check it out and consume the information on there. Uh, but if you want to support me in these efforts, in building the premier place on the internet to help people with their mind, uh, then I'd really appreciate it if you click the support us button on the website and sign up for a monthly donation. Uh, the money that comes from those donations is going to go directly into me building this product out. So anyhow, that's it. I'm excited for you all to check it out. Uh, please share any thoughts or feedback that you have. Um, that's it.